Hill and hello if you are new. My name is Michaela. I'm a 23 year old foster mom making videos about motherhood, foster care, cooking, cleaning, lifestyle hauls, books, infertility, all that fun stuff. So today's video is my huge Bath and Body Works candle day haul. Um, I did order online. I ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 16 candles, <laughs> 16 candles. That is the most I've ever gotten from them. I think I got like six last year. I didn't get very many, but man, these deals are so good. Like I personally am not one that thinks you have to spend a ton of money on candles. The three, like $3 50 cent candles from Walmart smell great, but they don't last as long as these Bath and Body Works ones do. And Never will I pay full price for them unless I'm particularly looking. There's one candle that literally never goes on any kind of, well, not now, I wouldn't say never goes on any kind of sale, but it's never included in the candle day sale. And I will probably wait until that's like buy one, get one half off or um, buy one, get one free or something like that to, in order to get it. And the one that I'm talking about is blueberry maple pancakes. It's my favorite scent. Anything blueberry really I love, but it seems to never be on sale, the candles. So uh, it's one thing I wish that I could have gotten. I personally, like I said, I'm not really picky on candles. I like, I like the um, Bath and Body Works candles. I like Walmart candles. I also like Candleberry candles. Um, I don't know if that's just like a Southern kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know if you guys have heard of Candleberry candles. Let me know. Um, and if you're gonna, if you know Candleberry candle, you know I'm talking about hot maple toddy. It's the best candle I've ever smelt. <laughs> but also before I and dive into each particular candle, I get, did get a couple duplicates. Like I said, I ordered online. I was online at six o'clock with candles already in my cart because I knew the prices would change. Um, so they did come in the mail. They came in really fast. I ordered Saturday. They came in today, which is Thursday. And some of them are broken, unfortunately. Just for an example, this one is just like, it's falling apart. I try to put it together for the picture. But yeah, some of them came broken. Um, so I was able to contact Bath and Body Works customer service and they are going to be sending me replacements. The ones that were broken, the scents were no longer available. I ended up just ended up having to get some duplicates, um, some more duplicates of the ones that got broke. Unfortunately, like some of the ones that I really liked or didn't, weren't available anymore. So it is what it is. I love Bath and Body Works candles and they seem to last a really long time and um, they have, they usually carry a really strong scent. So I'm not gonna keep talking too much longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna show you the most worst broken bad one um, so I can get it out of the way. Um, the first one that is really, really broken is Sugar Snickerdoodle. This is really cute packaging. Also, I don't particularly buy just Christmas candles and I try to go avoid, honestly, the Christmas packaging because I prefer just something simple that I can use all year round. Not that I wouldn't use it all year round, I would just turn it around, but I don't particularly buy any candle for the packaging. Like I said, this one is Sugar Snickerdoodle. Um, let's, I'm gonna read you guys the scent. This is Warm Spices, Creamy Vanilla, Sugared Musk with Essential Oils. Um, I had never smelled this one before and I just kind of ordered it on a whim. And I'm not that impressed with this. My husband really, really, really likes it. Uh, it kind of smells like vanilla cupcake like a vanilla cupcake. And there's just the ever so slightest hint of cinnamon, barely there, barely there. It's not exactly what I would picture a sugar cookie. But it just smells like sugary. It just smells sugar, just smells like plain sugar and vanilla. So I don't know that it'll be super strong. It'll probably just kind of mask any other scent, which is fine. My husband really liked it. I'm not a huge fan of it. I like something that smells different. That's something that's going to smell up the house. And I don't know that this would do that. So for one, the one that would, was the most broke, like I'm literally holding this together, guys. Like it's really bad. Um, oh God, it's going to fall. Um, I was glad it was this one that's broke because it's not, it's not my favorite. It's okay. It's just not my favorite. It's definitely a scent that I could get at Walmart or something. It definitely wouldn't have to come from Bath and Body Works. So this is Tis the Season. I love the packaging on this. Just simple red. Great for the holidays, but good for whenever. This is um, Tis the Season. I've heard people talk about this. And when I smell it, I literally just, I smell heavy apple cinnamon. Like apple cider. Um, 
which smells good but it, again it's just one of those like common scents that you can get at walmart like they're gonna have something that says apple cinnamon on there it's nothing extraordinary it's just apple cinnamon and of course the scents are rich red apple sweet cinnamon and cedar wood so it does smell good but it's not necessarily something that i think you have to get from bath and body works now there are some of these candles that you need to get from bath and body works because good luck finding a scent like them but the packaging is sleek it's matte i love the packaging on this so i'm happy with this one <clears throat> the next one i got um this was an accidental duplicate order and one of them is broken so i'm going to show you the one that is not broken so that i hopefully don't cut myself um this is Mary Cookie, and this it's both of these actually have the same packaging. It's white with these little snowflakes and like a little squirrel or something. The scent on this is fresh baked cookies, sparkling sugar, crystals, rich vanilla with essential oils. This is just like vanilla. That's all I smell, vanilla. It smells very similar to the um, sugar snickerdoodle very similar but just definitely a stronger vanilla scent i mean it just it just smells like vanilla vanilla cupcake or something like that it's nothing crazy i'm like good thing that my husband really likes these because i don't really care for just the simple vanilla scent but we have dogs so it smells like dog in our house pretty much the most of the time which we try really hard with wallflowers and things like that to make sure it doesn't smell like dog but so this will probably just do a good job at masking that scent but i don't think it will fill the house up with this amazing smell but it'll do the trick when I'm not really caring. This is this wouldn't be a candle I would burn when guests come over. It would be something that I burn just on a regular basis just because, just to like deodorize. Wouldn't be something I want. I would, like when I when I burn a candle for someone to, that is coming over, when someone's coming over, I want to burn a candle. I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. This one, you'd just be like, oh my God, it just smells like normal in here. It doesn't 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 smell bad but it doesn't smell great so that's that's kind of my opinion on that candle which and when i heard mary cookie i was like oh this is gonna smell so good oh well the next scent i got is cinnamon caramel swirl um it is again kind of a christmas packaging it's got ornaments on it and i definitely smell the cinnamon in this which is really good and i smell the caramel i like this one um let's see the scent description uh, gooey caramel, grated cinnamon, vanilla bean, maple, brown sugar, and essential oils. Yeah, it, that's pretty much dead on. Caramel and cinnamon together. That's what this smells like. It smells really good. Really great to burn during the holidays, I think. Um, again, nothing too crazy, but I like this one a lot better than the others. Next is my favorite, favorite smell. Um, I love it. I want to get the perfume. I don't have it, but I, I would love to get it. My best friend actually got me stuck on these. She got me the mini, the, not the mini, but the small candle of this because she wasn't sure if I would like it. And I love it. Oh my God. I loved it so much. So anytime they go on sale, like, I just want to buy this scent. And then this cactus blossom. I love it. I love it. Um, I like this packaging too. It's white and pink marble. I really, really like this packaging. Super cute, super feminine. I can't even go into you about what this smells like, but like this is a perfect, like I would want to wear this on my body. It smells so good. Uh, I got, I love this. I love it. Let's see what the inscriptions are. Cactus flower petal, sun-kissed coconut, vanilla, fresh sparkling lemon, and essential oils. Oh my God, it smells so good. I wish I could let you guys smell this. Like if you are ever going to try a candle and like you're feminine and you like just a good scent, like you cannot go wrong with this you cannot any woman in your life will love that candle i i'm obsessed with it and then i got another cactus blossom in a different packaging this is just like a hot pink packaging i don't know why i'm gonna smell it again because it smells exactly the same oh god i love it 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 i love it, I love it. so it's one of my favorites next peach bellini um Succulent light peach, sparkling Prosecco, sweet orange, and essential oils. Whew. Very, very strong. Very, very strong peach scent. I like the peach, the peach scent. I got this because I bought the hand soap over the summer. Or not over the summer, but I bought it for the summer. I really liked it. This is pretty strong. Like, this is really peachy. Um, it's not like, it's definitely not subtle. It's, it's definitely a strong peach scent, but I like it. That may be a gift for somebody. Next. 
I buy this every year. This is just the typical millennial in me. I used to wear this on my body. I would drown myself in the shower gel and in the lotion. It is the Vanilla Bean Noel. Like, this is the scent. This is the millennial scent. And as I've gotten older, I've obviously, like, I don't really necessarily want to wear that on my body, but I still like the scent. It's still unique to me. It's very different. I don't think there's a candle anywhere else like it. And so I get it every year. And it's just, I just like it. I mean, this is one of those scents that people waited around for and you bought up stock on these like around Christmas time because they were gone and they weren't coming back until next Christmas season. So I, I, it's just kind of nostalgic for me, I guess. And I love, I love the scent. It's just, as I've gotten older, my my scent has kind of matured and I like some, like things a little different, not as such a sweet, but I still love it. I still love it. I love it so much. It's just one of those classic scents. The vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, vanilla cake, and essential with essential oils. Maybe that is what that smell, like, I definitely smell the vanilla, but, like, I never realized, I never looked at the scent description, but I can definitely smell the marshmallow. That, that makes this scent. That is what this is. Wow. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next. My other favorite candle it's black tie. Um, it's really sleek packaging. Um, it's got some stars on it. I literally kind of think this is like a new year's candle. Like it just reminds me of it like black and gold, but this smells like a man, like, like men's cologne. It smells so good. So good. This is just one of those scents. Like if you have a, like a man, man cave in your house, this is perfect, but I like the smell and I would just burn it in my house wherever. Um, like, but I love this smell. Let's see what's actually in it. Green sage, sandalwood, tonka bean with essential oil. I really don't know, but man, that smells so good. Okay, getting down to the last few here. Like I said, I did get duplicates. I'm not going to show you the duplicates. Um, this one is kind of a disappointment, if you want me to be honest. This is gingerbread marshmallow. And... I just don't smell the marshmallow in it. Let's read the scent description. Gingerbread spice, eggnog, spiced rum, vanilla, frosting, brown sugar, crystals with essential oils. I smell cinnamon and I just don't smell anything else. I just don't smell anything else. I don't get the marshmallow scent at all. It's not... The cinnamon is toned down, so it's not like a, like a, like that tis the season. The cinnamon is toned down, is toned down, so it's a very light scent. It's not very strong, and I like a scent that's really just kind of knock you in the face. And it's very subtle. It's very subtle cinnamon, very, maybe some of vanilla in there. I just don't smell the marshmallow. I just wish it was a little bit sweeter and a little bit stronger. Again, this is one of those that I just ordered on a whim, but really cute Christmas packaging, so... It's fine. I'm not picky. I know this is making me sound picky. I am not picky about candles. I just burn whatever. I really don't care. Um, I just like when I'm buying $10 candles, it's just expensive for me because I typically buy $3.50 candles from Walmart. I want them to smell really good. But when you're ordering on, um, especially right now with COVID, I haven't been in the stores. I haven't smelled a lot of their Christmas scents. And so I just ordered online and just hoped that I would like them. So just I'm talking about general for the price, my opinion on these candles but they all smell good none of them smell bad none of them smell bad um and i'm gonna be happy to burn them all next i really like this one um this is salted caramel um caramel caramel whatever however you say it roasted chestnuts caramelized sugar and spiced rum with essential oils oh i like this one i definitely smell the salt and you can definitely smell the chestnut in here I really like it. I really like it. Um, I do. I like it a lot. And just one of those basic scents. Okay. Next. I got this one literally for my husband. My husband is obsessed with eggnog. Not that he would necessarily give a crap about um, a scent of eggnog. But I got it because it said I eggnog. And I don't know that I smell the eggnog. <laughs> I don't know um like this is salted caramel egg dog and the other one is salted caramel or caramel however you say it I feel like I say it different every time 
it almost just seems like a toned down version of that salted caramel. Like, I couldn't pick out the eggnog in it if I'm being honest. Maybe, maybe a little bit. Um, gooey caramel, fresh sea salt, dulce de leche, swip, sweet whipped cream. I definitely smell that. I definitely smell that sweet whipped cream smell. Like the whole, uh, I just realized this is, could easily come off of here. Wow. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just kind of more of a toned down version of that salted caramel. Like if I was going to pick one, like I would just go with this one because it's stronger than regular salted caramel. I don't really smell the eggnog in it, but maybe that's just me. I did have COVID a few months ago. So, hey, maybe my senses aren't all the way back to normal. And last but not least, first off, I love this packaging. It's it's almost like um, it kind of has a pink tint to it, but it's really like a toned down white. And it's a sleek matte packaging. And this is spiced gingerbread. And this is strong, and I like that. Um, vanilla, icing, cinnamon, sugar, fresh ground nutmeg, and essential oil. Yeah, this, I mean, this smells like gingerbread to me. Uh, yeah, this definitely smells like gingerbread to me. It's pretty strong. I like it. It's definitely one that I could burn in the fall or, or winter, whatever. I, I'm not picky. I keep saying that, but I literally, I burn sugar cookie or apple cinnamon you know pumpkin I burn those all year round I don't I don't I'm not picky um but it just it makes me think of fall Christmas Eve anything cinnamon makes me think of that but that's not necessarily the truth so that is it that is all of them um and like I said the replacement ones that I've got most of them are on the duplicate ones believe it or not I'm not getting anything different like there's no all the replacements are just the same ones as ones that I have. I think the sugared snick snickerdoodle or not. Sh yeah, they actually had that in stock. So they replaced that one. And then I think I just got an additional cactus blossom and maybe an additional vanilla bean Noel. I think that's what I did because they had six cents in stock. That was it. Whenever I called, they had six cents um, to replace with. So I didn't get anything new. But yeah, those will be coming in the mail really soon. And that's it. Wow, I'm already looking forward to next year's um, sale, but I, I actually I don't typically shop at Bath and Body Works that much. I love the hand soaps, and so I buy them whenever I run out, but I tend to buy them quite a few, so I go months on end without shopping at Bath and Body Works. But the next thing, the next time that I'll be shopping there, unless they have another can, any any kind of buy one get one free, buy one get one half off candle sale, where I can get that blueberry scent, I won't be shopping there until their semi annual sale, and I will be stocking up on tons of hand soaps, wallflowers, and um, I buy a lot of Christmas gifts, like at their semi-annual sale, even right after Christmas. I buy a lot of scents and lotions, body gels, that kind of thing. And I gift them for birthdays and, part, bir you know, birthdays and um, wedding gifts and bridal showers and like things to go in with baby shower gifts for mom and um, Christmas gifts for next year. I give them all year round. And um, it's a good time for me to try like new scents from them um, because they're a little less expensive. You know, they're all, they're on a really good sale during their semi-annual event. So I can try new different things and I can kind of see what I like and see if it's something that I want to repurchase. Obviously, I end up keeping some for myself probably way more than I should. But that's probably going to be the last time that I'm shopping. This will be the last time that I'm shopping at Bath & Body Works until then. And I love Bath & Body Works. I just... I don't want to shop there all the time because it, it, it gets expensive. So yeah, I'm going to go put all these candles away. I've never had this many candles at one time. So I've had to make space in our like hallway closet to organize these. So uh, hopefully those will, that'll go good. Um, I don't know. We'll just have to see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your thoughts on some of these scents below. And if you shop the sale, I want to know, did you get anything that I didn't get? I'm curious because I feel like I got one of everything, but maybe I didn't. I'm not really sure. So if you guys got some different stuff, let me know. I'm curious what kind of deals you scored. I wish I had some um, printed out coupons, but I didn't have any. Um, I did sign up for the mailing list, but I haven't gotten anything yet. So hopefully maybe next year I'll have some mail and, and coupons that I can add on top because that would be awesome if you get these on a sale and then you can get an additional, you know, amount off. That's great. So if you guys got any of those, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe before you go. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.